We're in Beehive Basin, uh, east facing slope, 9,200 feet. And this area picked up a fair amount of snow over the last five days or so. Um, here at this elevation, we're above the rain level. Down at the parking lot of Beehive, it was obvious that it rained. Uh, really hard frozen surface under just a few inches of new snow. But as we climbed higher, it was pretty obvious where we got out of that, that rain zone and entered into a, into a dry snow uh, regime. So here at, at 9,000 feet, uh, the snowpack is completely dry. And we just did an ECT and we got this column to propagate on this layer of near surface facets about 50 centimeters below the surface. Uh, we took a measurement. The slab is 50 centimeters thick and it has two and a half inches of water in it. So it's quite dense. And it's surprising, it took 27 hits to get this to go. So ECTP 27. Um, and we're seeing this, lit, this uh, layer across the Big Sky area near West Yellowstone. Some areas it's surface hoar. Here it's near, near surface facets. And the tricky part is this layer doesn't exist on all slopes. So it's certainly something to keep an eye out for. And now that we have a pretty good setup here, we got a pretty dense slab sitting over this layer. I think uh, it's certainly possible to trigger avalanches um, on this layer in the upcoming days.